Hi, it's First Lady Redunda here. And like many of you, I am at home. And I know that you're at home and I know that all of us have been kind of put at home and we're, we've been ordered by our county and government officials to stay at home during this COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. We have all been forced to be at home. So I was thinking about you all and I wanna cook in the kitchen uh, I was thinking about how you could just make a simple one pot meal uh, with some of the items that you may already have in your pantry or in your refrigerator. And so tonight, I just want to show you a couple of things. We're going to make, I guess what I would call um, kind of a chili mac vegetable soup, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> And so these are just some items that I found in my pantry. You know, many of us have been going to the store and the stores, um, some of the shelves are pretty empty in some cases. Um, and if you're blessed, then you're able to find everything that you need. But for some of us, kind of some of the things that we wanted were not on the shelves. But anyway, I had some things in my pantry. So I just want to start off showing you what I have, my ingredients. I had this in my freezer. I found this fresh ground turkey. This is 93% lean. Uh, it's only 7% fat. And so we're going to make this recipe tonight. That's going to be our base. And then we're going to add some stuff to it. I'm going to go ahead and start with about a cup and a half of macaroni. We're going to add macaroni to this uh, soup slash chili mac whatever we're making <laughs> it's like a pantry one pot meal tonight okay so i put that macaroni in there and i stir it uh if you don't want it to stick you can add just a little bit just a dot of extra virgin olive oil in there and you see how it bubbles up and just stir that and that'll kind of help to keep your macaroni from sticking okay so now we're going to go ahead and turn this pot on. This is my large stainless steel pot that I'm going to use. I'm going to open up this fresh ground turkey. I'm just going to add that in. I'm going to set that over to the side. I'm going to wash my hands. We've been doing a lot of hand washing lately. I don't know about you, but I feel like I've been washing my hands during this COVID-19. I've been washing my hands probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 times a day. Just any time you think about it, you just have to wash your hands and use hand sanitizer. But we want to stay healthy and we want to be uh, safe and we want to use good hygiene. So I'm just going to wash my hands real quick, dry them with a paper towel. Now, I'm going to come back over here to this ground turkey that I put in here. And so we're going to add some seasonings to it. Start off with Mrs. Dash. I love using Mrs. Dash because Mrs. Dash does not have any salt, but it's lots of seasonings and spices. This is the original blend, Mrs. Dash. And you know, if you're fighting high blood pressure or things like that, you definitely don't wanna use a lot of salt. This is cumin that I'm using. And I'm actually just shaking it in here. And you can season it to your taste. This is a little bit of chili powder and I'm gonna open this up. And I'm actually gonna use about a half a teaspoon of this. And a little bit, just a dash of this Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. And it gives it a good flavor. What I like about this pink Himalayan, Himalayan pink salt is you don't have to use as much of it, but you get a good salt flavor. Now a little bit of black pepper. I just kind of sprinkle this in and I can actually open this side and do a little bit of a simple pour. This is gonna be kind of a spicy. And then last but not least, Cayenne. We're going to add a little heat to it. And you don't have to add a whole lot of this cayenne. But it gives you a little bit of heat. All right. So now we're going to start just kind of stirring this up, getting this to 
brown nicely. You definitely want to brown this all the way, brown turkey. And as you can see, while this brown turkey is browning, it does not have any fat that you have to render off, which makes it really good. So I love the fact that ground turkey, you don't have to drain off the fat as you would if you were using ground beef or ground chuck. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add one whole yellow onion and one whole green bell pepper into this and let this cook along with the ground turkey. And I just chopped that up. It's nice rough chop on that. So, mm, you can really smell the pepper and green pepper, bell pepper and the onions. And this is gonna make a delicious one pot wonder. And I'm excited about it because I know that many of you as moms and dads, you may be home, all your family is home, everybody's in the house and everybody's always wanting something to eat. And you feel like you're a short order cook because you're cooking breakfast, you're cooking lunch, you're cooking dinner. But this is a good one pot meal where you can get everything that you need in one pot. And obviously it's gonna have this macaroni and the other thing that we're gonna add is we're gonna add one can of mixed vegetables. This is a 15 ounce can of mixed vegetables. We're gonna add that when it's all done browning. And this is a can of diced tomatoes. And as you can see, this is the no salt added. And I love these no salt added uh, canned goods that you can buy now because so much of your canned goods are filled with so much salt. And if you're watching your blood pressure, uh, you really don't want to add a whole lot of salt to your food and you don't want to use a lot of ingredients that already have a lot of salt in it. So you want to try to control the salt as much as you can. So as this is browning and as my macaroni is uh, boiling away and getting to the right consistency, we'll just take a break and I'll bring it all back when we're done, when this is done browning and we'll start adding the other ingredients to it. See you in a bit. We're back and I'm just adding these diced tomatoes, no salt added. And I'm going to let them cook a little bit in with this mixture that, ha that has browned so nicely. I'm gonna let that just kind of cook and blend in together. Let those tomato juices just blend in nicely in this mixture. And as you can see, this is, this is gonna make a lot. So you and your family may be able to eat on this for a couple of days. Oh, those tomatoes smell really good in there. It really smells fresh. You're using fresh ingredients here. You have your ground turkey, you have your onions and your green peppers, and then you have your can of diced tomatoes. And the macaroni is still cooking and we're just gonna let that keep cooking until it gets to almost al dente. And so we're gonna let this simmer for a few more minutes and then we'll just keep adding ingredients to this. We're gonna add our chicken broth too once we add in the macaroni. It's gonna be kind of like a soup, but it's a one pot wonder. And so during this COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak, we're just going with what we have in our pantry because we may not get a chance to go to the store as much as we want. So we'll be back and we'll be able to put it all together. We are back and as you can see, our macaroni has cooked nicely. So we're just gonna take it over to the sink. We're gonna drain it. this macaroni 
and I'm just gonna let it sit over here for a second just on top of that oven mitt and as you can also see our mixture with the tomatoes and the ground turkey has really been simmering nicely and those tomatoes are nice and soft. We just added the can of the mixed vegetables with the juice and everything in there. Just stirring it up. And this is a beautiful one pot wonder that we're making from just from items that we have in our pantry during this COVID-19 crisis. We're just trying to make food last. We're just trying to feed our families. So I'm just adding this macaroni. And like I said, that was about a cup and a half of macaroni. You just cook it, boil it until it's al dente. And I'm just combining all of this. We added all those spices earlier. We added a little cayenne, some cumin, some chili powder, some Mrs. Dash, black pepper, and a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. And so this is gonna be flavored really nicely. And this is pretty much the finished product, except we're gonna add this organic chicken broth. And I got this from the store. This is non-GMO and it is 74% less sodium. So you look in your nutrition facts and you can see that it's a lot less sodium than you normally would have in a regular box of chicken broth or chicken stock. So we're gonna add this to our pot. And this is gonna be excellent. And this is 32 ounces. So it's 32 ounces of chicken broth that we're adding to this pot. And we're just gonna stir it. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Look at that. You see all those colors, the red from the tomatoes, the oranges from the, look at the carrot. You see the orange color, the onions and the peppers that are in there. That can of mixed vegetables kind of really helps to make it a meal because we just put it all in one pot. And then, of course, we're going to just let it simmer. But before I do, I kind of want to just sprinkle um, a little bit more black pepper, just regular black pepper over the top while it's simmering. I like black pepper over mine. So I'm just gonna let that just sit there and simmer. Turn your fire down to a little bit above simmer. And we're gonna cover this and we're going to just let it simmer for, I don't know, maybe about 20 or 25 minutes and then it'll be ready and I'll show you what it looks like, the finished product. Be back in a bit. We are back and everything is ready. Our one pot wonder that we have made has been simmering and I've turned it down. As you can see, it is hearty and it's healthy and it's a nice bowl of soup that you can enjoy during this time that we're kind of stuck at home. And this is something your whole family can enjoy together. And it probably will last you a couple of days. If you just put the leftovers in the refrigerator, it tastes even better the next day. So I put some in this little bowl here and I'm just gonna give it a taste. Mm. That's good. What I love about it is you can taste that cayenne on the back end, that heat, it's there. Very good, very delicious, hearty, great soup. And as you can see, I just made a few cornbread, a dozen cornbread muffins, and you can easily just pop that cornbread muffin into that bowl, and you've got a meal in and of itself. So 
just want to let you know that I'm thinking about you all during this time, during this pandemic. I'm praying for you all. And we're in this Easter season, and I know that many of you are at home and and not able to go and worship like you normally would. But I just want to tell you that, you know what? God's got it all in control. Remember, the tomb still is empty. Jesus Christ rose, and he rose for you, and he rose for me. So I just want to say happy resurrection to you all. Even during this COVID-19 pandemic, even during this coronavirus situation that we're dealing with, we can still have joy. So I just want to say to you, I'm praying for you, and please pray for me and enjoy this food. Keep cooking in your kitchen. Remember to like the video and subscribe and give me your comments and just know that I'm praying for you all. Stay healthy, stay safe, and be blessed.